Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here today. Let's talk about the vocabulary, uh, the <laughs> vocabulary to be. Okay, so we're going to talk about um, <clears throat> the museum, the, the different type of paintings, and then the character, uh, the, um, the physical traits, and as well as the uh, culture, right? So, um, go ahead, you can repeat. Un artiste. Un objet d'art, un tableau, une sculpture, okay. un objet d'art, once again, c'est mon sport favori, c'est un sport intéressant, elle, elle l'aide, la couleur est vive, elle est dynamique, il est fort, il est faible, il est calme, elle est célèbre. Okay, as you have noticed here, the pictures illustrate exactly what you should know. Okay, uh, here we have these uh, character tra uh, person, uh, physical traits, as well as the masculine, uh, the feminine, the masculine and the feminine. So, les the feminine of le is led, vif, vive. You notice F becomes VE. Calm, it already ends with E, so it stays calm. Dynamic, and with E, it stays the same. Celeb, stays the same. Four ends with a consonant, so you have an E becomes fort. Faible here has an E, so it ends with E. Interessant ends with a consonant T, so you add an E to make it feminine. And favori here is a very irregular one. You make it, uh, you add a T E to make it feminine. Favorite. All right. So um, you see here once again here you have le tableau, le tableau, un artiste, une sculpture, un objet d'art. Okay, objet d'art means masterpiece. All right, just in case you're wondering what that means. Um, Let's go ahead and kind of go ahead and put these words that are in the box in the appropriate blank. So, je préfère nager quand la mer est. Hopefully, c'est calm, right? Calm. La Tour Eiffel et l'Arche de Triomphe sont des monuments célèbres. Célèbre means famous. Okay, cette sculpture n'est pas belle. Elle est. If it's not belle. L lead, okay, and here sculpture is feminine, so that's why lead has e. All right. Le foot et le volet sont mes sports favori, favori, favorite. Okay. Est-ce que tu as une forte personnalité comme Dora Maar? Est-ce que tu as une forte personnalité, strong personality? Les couleurs que tu portes sont très couleurs, so we're gonna be here, and the color is feminine, so we're gonna say vive, vive. Okay. Now let's go to the next activity. Which uh, je pense que uh, Michael Vick et Kobe Bryant sont dynamiques. Okay. Selon mon prof d'histoire, la Renaissance est plus intéressante que l'art uh, que le XXe siècle. Selon mon, uh, mon prof d'histoire, la Renaissance est plus intéressante que le XXe siècle. Ok, numéro 9. Les élèves qui sont faibles right, ne sont pas forts en sport. So you can pause it and check it and try to make sure you understand it. All right. So let's go to conversation cultural. Okay, Mathieu and Sabrina are two students from La Réunion. They are touring the museum during the study program in Paris. So today they are in the Musée Picasso. So Sabrina says, c'est magnifique. Quel est le nom de ce tableau? C'est le portrait de Dora Maar. Tu vois comment Picasso a mis beaucoup de couleurs vives dans le tableau pour montrer la forte personnalité de la femme Oui, selon Picasso, cette dame prend la vie au sérieux. Picasso est l'un de mes artistes favoris. Tu as vu la Joconde au Louvre hier, n'est-ce pas Regarde, si on met une carte postale de la Joconde à côté de ce tableau... Dora Maar est moins mystérieuse que la dame de la, euh, du tableau de la, de Leonardo da Vinci. Oui, mais je trouve l'art du XXe siècle plus dynamique que l'art de la Renaissance. 
Okay, here is like it's when you fake, you know, it's nice. Okay, what is the name of this board here? This painting is uh, the portrait of Lorama. You see how Picasso put many, many, many color, bright colors on this painting to show the strong personality of the woman. Okay, yes, according to Picasso, this lady takes life seriously. Uh, Picasso is one of my favorite artists. Okay, you, uh, you saw at the uh, the Mona Lisa at the Louvre yesterday, right? So see if you put a postal card of uh, the Mona Lisa next to this uh, painting, uh, the Ramar is less mysterious than the lady on um, the Mona Lisa uh, painting, you know, on the painting of Leonardo da Vinci. So I then said, I say yes, but I think that uh, the art of the uh, 20th century is more dynamic than the art of Renaissance. All right, so you kind of have it there. Go ahead and reread it, and let's go to culture real, right now. So, page 71. So let me talk about it. Okay, La Réunion is a volcanic. Um, you know, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna let you read here. You can read it yourself. Okay, and um, it was a. Uh, you see, the Piton La Fournaise still remain active. It's kind of important that you know that. Okay, um, they became uh, Réunion has been a French uh, department since 1946. Okay, so the, the men produce there. They export sugarcane, rum, vanilla, geranium, uh, geranium uh, which I use to make perfume. Okay, and then uh, in addition to French settlers, people from Africa, India, and China have made their home on Réunion Island. Okay, um, the Marais section of Paris became fashionable in the 17th century. Okay, so Many, many people, wealthy people, still live there. It's a town where you have only wealthy people. Okay, so they have mansions, you know, and um, the, the, uh, the Musée Picasso, okay, um, uh, like it has the largest collection of artists' works um, that, you know, are giving uh, from, uh, by Picasso to France. Okay, I mean by his family, you know, when they go in France. Okay, um, as you can see, Picasso was born Spanish, you know, Spanish born, and then uh, he died in 1973, and then he spent most of his life in France. La Renaissance, uh, La Renaissance. The Renaissance is a rebirth idea of uh, it came from the classical Greek and Roman culture. Okay, it began in Italy in the 14th uh, century. Okay, Mona Lisa here, you call it La Jocon in French. Okay, it is uh, one of the most famous uh, painting that you you know have seen in the world. You know, it was built, it was uh, painted by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. Um, so basically, to encourage the flowering of the art and literature in France, so François Premier, François, uh, King François I invited important Renaissance scholars such as Da Vinci to live with him in the Loire uh, Valley. So you know, he's from Italy. So uh, King François Premier actually have him come I, and come to, to live in France next to him. Okay, so. For your homework, I want you to go ahead and do this activity three. Okay, activity three in your textbook is on the page of 72, 73. So do this and turn in on um, on uh, at model. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna do the first one for you just to give you an idea. And then I want you to do complete sentence. Okay, you have to do complete sentence. Pour regarder, okay, l'art et la sculpture de la Renaissance en Vaudeloff. So go ahead and do the rest of it and turn it in complete sentences. Okay, it's important that you do complete sentences. It helps you with your spelling. On this note, have a good one. Good day. See you tomorrow. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bye.